Whether you are interested in moving into your first leadership role or the next leadership role, there are three relationships that you need to keep in mind that are important to nurture and foster in order to make that move. So let's get started talking about the first relationship. And this one may be the most obvious. This relationship is with people who are above you in your organization. So this means everyone from your direct manager or director to people in the C-suite or the board. Now, this could mean a lot of different people depending where you are in your career, but suffice to say, anyone who is above you in your organization is going to be somebody that is important for you to nurture your relationship with. And the reason why is, these are largely the people who are going to make decisions about who the next leaders are. So not only do you need to be on their radar, but they need to know you well enough to understand who you are as a person and who you will be as a leader. They need to know what your strengths are. They need to know what accomplishments you've had in your career, and they need to know what your career goals are. Because if they don't know what you're interested in doing in the next level of your career, then there is no way they can help you get there. So anybody who is above you in the organization is going to be the first relationship or first type of relationship that you need to focus on to advance your career. Now, the second type of relationship that you should focus on are people at your level. So these would be peers, colleagues, and other counterparts. These are the people that you probably work most closely with and who get a different kind of unique insight into your leadership style. They're the people you collaborate with. They're the people that you work on teams with. And these people can do a lot to help you advance your career. They can provide perspectives on how you're doing in your current role in areas where maybe you could skill up so you could position yourself for that next leadership role. These can also be your biggest cheerleaders and your biggest supporters as you move towards that next level of your career. So the second type of relationship, colleagues, peers, and other counterparts are going to be a very important relationship for you to cultivate. Now, the third kind of relationship that is important for you to nurture as you work on moving into leadership or moving into your next role in leadership is going to be the people who are below you. What I mean by that are people such as your direct reports, people in earlier stages of the organization, in those entry level roles, in those support roles, the admin roles, anyone that is an earlier uh, part of their career or an earlier or lower level of the organization uh, in terms of structure. And the reason these are really important people for you to be nurtured in a relationship with is because these are the people that will see you as a potential mentor, as a potential supporter, as a potential leader. These are the people who can give you the best feedback in how you show up as that leader. Now, they may not be able to provide you direct verbal feedback or they may not be comfortable doing so, but you can observe how they interact with you and their behavior towards you as a very accurate reflection of how you are showing up. If people find it very easy to come to you to ask questions, if they find it very easy to give you feedback, if they find it very easy to interact with you at meetings, this is a good indication that you are positioning yourself as somebody who is both approachable and respected. So don't ignore those relationships. Don't ignore the relationships with people who are either your direct reports or the direct reports of other colleagues that you work with, because those people can give you a lot of important information about how you are already positioning yourself as a leader. If you are ready for your next role in leadership or your first role in leadership, consider these three types of relationships. Relationships with those above you, with those at your level and with those that are at earlier stages of the company structure. And you will see that by leveraging these three relationships, you will be positioning yourself for that next role much more effectively. I'll see you in the next video.